These could be literally anything you want, any good habits. It could be going, make sure you do at least one hour's walk a day. It could be going to the gym every day. It could be making sure you get at least a gallon of water every day. I, I try and do that anyway, but certainly this time of year when the drinking and social occasions start to come in, that one's sort of even more important to make sure you're making up for all the, uh, all the lost fluid through alcohol and going out and everything like that. boys hope you're well for those of you new here i'm a psychology student trained to be a therapist so on this channel we talk about mindset positive attitude mental health self-development and all things like that so if that sounds good stick around i want to do something slightly new today i haven't done anything like this before uh, but i've seen a few other people do it so i thought i'd sort of chip in and uh yeah give one give one a go myself so 60 day challenge reason this is the thing is as of 1st of November, between 1st of November and New Year's Eve, there is exactly 60 days. Um, and a lot of people are sort of talking about how this time of year, a lot of people just kind of give up on the year a little bit. Like as Christmas comes in, as it gets dark, as it gets cold, social events start to pick up, got all the Christmas chocolate, mince pies and things like that. And in terms of fitness and everything like that, people just tend to kind of let it slide and they do this awful, oh, I'll just start again in January thing. Um, and I'll do a video in January about my views on, um, yeah, New Year's resolutions and things like that. I did one last January, uh, but I'll do another one. Um, I basically just think it's a load of rubbish uh, to, to, to kind of ruin the end of that. Why, why would you, it's like the whole, I'll start on Monday kind of thing or I'll start tomorrow, like, why would you not just start now? 60 days is a long time. That's a, that's that's a lot of time that you can use to create good habits. So why would you just write that time off for the sake of potentially a few nights out here and there that might sort of stutter you on, on the way? So yeah, that's why I wanted to do a 60 day challenge for you guys. So I know some people do these in a sort of very specific way. They challenge you to do certain things every day for 60 days or lots of lots of variety on it but the thing that i wanted to try because i've been looking at how having less goals that you really focus on is a lot better than having loads of things uh, that you have to spread your attention across so what i wanted to do for you guys is for you guys to set yourself three non-negotiables every day for the next 60 days now these could be literally anything you want any good habits it could be Go and make sure you do at least one hour's walk a day. It could be going to the gym every day. It could be making sure you get at least a gallon of water every day. I, I try and do that anyway, but certainly this time of year when the drinking and social occasions start to come in, that one's sort of even more important to make sure you're making up for all the, uh, all the lost fluid through alcohol and going out and everything like that. So it could be, it could be literally anything. If, if you were gonna start something in January, start it now. I appreciate this time of year going without alcohol might potentially be very difficult. Um, I know I certainly couldn't do it, obviously, because with Christmas and everything like that, I have a lot of social occasions coming up, which I'm sure you guys do. This time of year would also be a terrible time to try and give up chocolate or something like that. So if that's what you're aiming to do maybe in January, that's kind of fair enough that if you don't want to start that now. But anyone can do three things every day if you really focus on those three things and make it a priority it could even be that you want to make sure you're doing an hour of university work at least a day or, or things like that and make it make it a daily thing don't do it sort of like oh i've skipped two days so i'll just do three hours that day make it something that by the time you've gone to bed you have done those three things every day um look i've tried to sort of give you some examples there things they could be but it could be anything that you're you're trying to do if you're trying to learn another language at the moment do i only speak in french for half an hour every day or if you're studying a specific subject 
that I do half an hour of that specific reading. Or even for someone like me who really needs to work on their reading, it could just be half an hour of reading of anything that day. It could be at meditate for 20 minutes every day. It can be whatever you want it to be, but set yourself three absolute non-negotiables, put it in your, in your notes and just do three ticks every day for, for whenever you do them. And the reason I think this is gonna be so powerful is because I think people don't realize sort of how long months and, and how long 60 days is really. And if you actually keep it up and stick to it, see where you are on the 31st of, of December, when you go into New Year's Eve, when you turn up to that party and you've been doing what you should be doing for the last 60 days and you've really stuck to it and everything like that, see how you feel. Like I say, a lot of people often end up wasting these last couple of months. and. As I said earlier, it, it is understandable. I, I do get it. This time of year, when it's getting dark, when it's getting cold, it's pouring with rain, the last thing you want to start doing is, right, how can I make my life more difficult? Or how can I be getting up early in the morning and, and go and do things like that? Even we, I've, I do my, my rugby trainings on, on, on Monday evening. It's not going to be nice. It's going to be sliding around in mud, pouring with rain and freezing cold. But we all go out there and we do it together. And just because it's a different time of year doesn't mean you, you give up on things. So in summary, pick three things, three positive habits. It can literally be anything, but realistically achievable that you can do those three things every day for the next 60 days. New Year's Eve, see how you feel, see how you've done. Make yourself proud, get yourself a beer as a well done and take them into January. Because if you're going into uh, New Year's resolution January already with these really good habits, that's even more you can build on because you've then, on the side, you've built the skill of discipline, which is going to make whatever you do do as your New Year's resolution a hell of a lot easier. Don't want to go around in circles. I think I've made my point. Thank you for you guys who make it all the way to the end. I do really appreciate it. As always, if you found anything useful, if you enjoyed the videos, consider liking, subscribing. Comment anything you have below if you have any suggestions or if you want to comment what you're going to do for your 60 days. That would be brilliant and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care lads.